got a real short update for you folks on the F-15. Um, first we're going to start off with the decals that I got for the ejection seat. And let's take a peek at these. Oh wow. That's really slick. Oh damn. Okay, so. And there's an Invictus to kill. So, these are the guys where I got this stuff from. Um, amazing service. Let me grab the camera and move it around a little bit and we'll take a peek at some of this stuff. Okay, we've got an aluminized, it looks like, uh, Aces 2 logo decal. Boy, it looks kind of small though. Because this is what we've got on the, the real thing. And you can see it's the size is a bit different. But you know, that's okay. Um, we got looks like labels for Pyro, so I think these are designed to go on to various tubing items. So that's kind of neat. Um, wow, the shrink is interesting. Um, if you look at that, you can see there's a white border around those. That's really neat. Uh, let's see, this ejection controls locked thing. Let's wander over here. Well, that looks really close. The yellow is a little different, but not by a whole lot. Those, by the way, are some actual real honest to God Aces 2 decals that I was gifted probably 20 years ago. <laughs> Um, and then the third sheet has the rest of them. Now the shoulder harness decal actually goes over here, right about there. And I'm going to end up having to build that whole thing because I don't have a, a harness release, but. And then the emergent or the restraint emergency release decal goes here. And boy, that looks really close. It really does. The yellow's not dead on, but I don't know, it's close enough. It could Yeah, you know, it's probably not sun damage because that looks like a a correct federal standard yellow color. And it's very similar to the, the handle here. And you can see the, the color difference there. But it's a very, uh, a night, or a, it appears to be a high quality sticker sheet or decal sheet for the Aces, too. Um, and that's really nice to see. trying to see there was another decal I was looking for because I know that there's an equipment release decal here oh it's right there And again, the size is different, but it's close enough, realistically. So that's really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put these back in the container until I need them and we'll go on to some of the other stuff that I've been working on. So the other thing I've been working on is attaching or what my belt interconnect is going to look like, okay? Um, 
And I've decided the simplest way to do this is to use a turnbuckle, okay? Uh, this is a stainless steel one I found on Amazon, and it's got all the features I want, and this is wide enough for the 12 millimeter belt that I need to use uh, for the system. The problem is, is that this is too uh, thick to fit inside uh, the fork of the roll and pitch controls. And I tried squeezing this one in a vise, and it wasn't having any of it. Um, maybe if I bought a, a hydraulic press, and I could compress that down and narrow a little bit. But um, I've decided what I'm going to do uh, is recreate this centerpiece using a piece of 12 millimeter uh, aluminum bar stock. And what I'll do is I'll put a right and left hand thread on it after, you know, center drilling it. And then I'll put a, a hole in the middle here. And then that center hole uh, will be what attaches to the control fork. And what I can do is uh, get the belts installed and the belt will wrap around this and then there'll be a clamp that uh, holds the, the belt tight. Something like, like that, okay. Um, and then I can use the turnbuckle to tension the belt properly and then rotate it just a little bit more, put it up into the control fork and throw a bolt in it and call it done. Um, so I'm happy about that. Uh, I've also got two of these printed. These are printed in ABS, 0.4 nozzle, 70% infill, uh, six uh, walls and six top and bottom layers and then I'm using an R4Z bearing in there and these are going to be what uh, come off the uh, uh, the main drive pulleys uh, and as it comes over the top as, as the belt comes over the top it'll go over to the control connection and down the bottom it'll be on the the large 74 tooth a primary drive gear and if I think about it I'll, I'll go ahead and include a photo of that um, that's pretty much it the uh, uh, the side panels are on the uh, the assemblies now or the ejection handles um, I did find that I had a safety uh, flag the interesting thing is, is that the hole is a bit large on this side and I need to actually drill a hole for this side. Um, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, the inertia reel. Let's talk about the inertia reel. So this poor thing, there is something wrong with it. Um, I don't know if it's because it's been fired and in that process damaged something. Um, the issue is, is that while I can retract the reels, they will not release. And that is via this little mechanism here, okay? That handle that I said that I did not have, that connects to this and allows the inertia, allows these to release so you can lean forward a little bit. Um, this is actually the gas connection that's connected to the pyro for the seat. So when you pull the handles, hot gas flows through this thing and spools it up. And it pulls you tightly against the back of the seat before the main uh, mortar fires. Um, this is super old. Um, it could be from an original seat. It's dated August 17th. 1976 and it's made by Pacific Scientific Company <coughs> excuse me and I'll go ahead and let you guys look at the the label here so yeah anyway what I need to do is I need to pull this thing apart find out what's wrong with it to get it to at least a release <coughs> and uh, 
if it's just old and needs to be lubricated or whatever on the inside to to get repaired I may look at at seeing what it would take uh, to fire it using a compressed air um, I think that would be kind of a fun effect you pull the the uh, the handles and the if you've got the belts on it pulls you against the seat back before it boots you in the butt with a sound transducer or something like that uh, at any rate, that's all I have for you folks now. And uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.